What is up guys? Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Rain 5G products. So I ordered the one that's 699 the normal 5G. There is a product for 999 which is the 5G Premium. But anyway, they both come with this cool router. So you can see it's the Huawei CPE. It's um, got some Rain stickers just to put some of their branding on it. Um, but it, it's a cool router but we're not going to review the router super in-depth because it isn't a Huawei review so let's look at the main item it's the weatherproof CPE router which they give you the mounting brackets if you want to mount outside or on the roof and then at the bottom you've got your your power um, and then there's this module for your LAN USB and the hard reset button um, it's kind of clunky but Otherwise, aesthetically, it's not the worst looking router. Um, and then it comes with everything you need in the box. Um, and then I'm using it in a 4G area and it works fine, but it was a shit show of a mission to set up. I had to go to my friend in another area because it's 5G there to set it up. So shout out to Saad, thanks for helping me. Um, and yeah, the, the Rain customer service has I've been pretty disappointed. I thought they were going to be part of this new generation of companies that are customer centric, but um, they're not as bad as Telcom or Mweb, but yeah, I've been pretty disappointed. Um, they've, um, so, so, so just in my, in my personal experience with them, um, I had to wait each time in the queue. They never responded to emails, they never responded to Hello Peter, they never responded to tweets. And then each time I waited in the queue, sometimes I would, on their online support, uh, I would get kicked out because it times out, because the queues are like, you start in like position number 50. Uh, and then when you do get to the front, the guy tells you, okay, I'm gonna transfer you to the 5G department. And then uh, you start in the back of the queue again. So that was pretty disappointing. Um, and then another thing I need to critique on Rain is um, they they seem to be providing the best service uh, like 5G in the more affluent areas, which I think is is not a social good. And maybe they're using that to subsidize putting in future the service in uh, the less affluent areas. But it, it does seem uh, like they're not acting in the in socially the best manner but i i guess there are maybe are some economics behind it but yeah other than that it's a decent product um and i i saw that they have a new product now that came out last week is the 4g uh, only unlimited uh, internet which is 480 rand which is decent especially if you're at home now during the social distancing period um and you need affordable internet um but yeah let me know what you guys think um in the comment section i think i'm back to making youtube videos so don't forget to hit like and subscribe